This is Dean Huppert, and I'm with the head coach of the Mishawaka Caveman, Keith Kinder, and this is the Keith Kinder Show. Coach, looking for your first NLC win, looking for the first win of the season this Friday night. Yeah, you know, each week is another opportunity uh, to get better every day and then uh, to, to go out there and play on Friday night. So we're looking forward to the opportunity uh, to play another conference game. Um, you know, we've talked to our kids about you know, stay in the course and trust in the process and all those things. And, and, you know, one of the things we've talked a lot about is that tough times don't last, but tough people do. So, um, you know, we've practiced well this week. We're excited for the opportunity we got tomorrow. Yeah, we had a smile today just talking about last Friday night and how down you were. And after a game like that and after a tough loss, it, it does show how much of a toll it takes on a coach and the entire team because you pour so much energy into to trying to do the right things and to, to get a victory on a Friday night. And when it doesn't happen, uh, it just makes your head spin a little bit, I'm sure. Yeah, it does. And our, our coaches work incredibly hard. They put a lot of, you know, a lot of time and energy um, our coaches' families at times suffer uh, because of that time with their husbands and their fathers. So uh, when you're not successful, it, it, it's real. You, you, you take it personally. You take it hard. Um, our kids the same way. You know they worked hard. They they played well. They played hard. Um, and and things just haven't gone their way yet. And so that's why we've talked to them about you know hey, tough people last. Trust the process. It's going to get better. We're going to win some games this year. We're going to be in the conversation to, to win a sectional and all those things. We just got to keep getting better. We're fortunate to be on WSBT, and last week we had the debut of Caveman Corner for this year, and we'll be on again this week at 7 o'clock. But talking to Justin Fisher, he talked exactly about what you were talking about, handling adversity. It's got to make you proud that those messages do get through. The kids are optimistic, they're hopeful, and, and they're ready to get their first win this Friday. Yeah, they really are. And, and I think that, you know, that makes me proud because they're listening to what we're saying. They believe what we're saying. And, and listen, you know, th there's no cure like winning. You know, we got to win. And we got to get that confidence back. We got to get on a little bit of a run. Um, and, and I think our kids are excited for that opportunity. I, I think that they're hungry. I think they believe that they're a pretty good football team that has to get better. Um, it's just a lot easier to um, evaluate yourself from a position of 3-0 and or 2-1 and than a position of 0-3 and or 1-2. and So uh, it, it's hard when you have to deliver the same message after a loss. So we're excited about the opportunity that we've got tomorrow night. We're excited about the opportunity of getting better each and every day, uh, continuing after this. Um, and listen, you know, like I told our kids, like if this is the worst thing that ever happens to us, then we've lived a pretty good life. So what it's actually doing is preparing us to deal with grown up adversity in the real world. You travel to Plymouth, uh, a tradition rich program. You know John Barron and that team's gonna come with everything you have. They're looking for their first win and, and playing on the road. You know it's gonna be a tough atmosphere. Yeah, you know, uh, we've never played there before. It, it looks like a fantastic facility. I've been there uh, at a few games there. It, it's a lot of fun. Um, like you said, it's a great tradition. Um, they've been, you know, conference champs several times. They've won some sectionals in recent years. So uh, it's, it's a really proud program. I respect uh, Coach Barron and that staff a great deal. Um, and we're excited about the chance to compete with them. The keys to victory, what do you shore up this week? Well, I think we gotta, we got to get off the field on defense. You know, on, we're getting teams to third and fourth downs, and, and we're just not getting off the field. So we got to be better defensively on third and fourth down. And we got to be, we're, we just haven't been good enough in the second half offensively on first down. You know, it, last week against Warsaw and then week two against Elkhart, just first downs have really hurt us, gotten us behind the chains. And we've, we've had to either punt or turn it over on downs as a result. So those are the two big things for me that we're stressing to our kids this week. And finally, uh, Plymouth showing great sportsmanship, honoring Jeremy Bush and uh, the, the, the family. Talk about that, just uh, knowing that Jacob might be there on Friday night and supporting your team, and, and what an uplifting message and a show of sportsmanship by the, the Rockies. Well, if he does show up and he's out there, I think it's going to be a huge lift to, to our team, our players. Um, he's got a lot of friends on this team, a lot of people that love him and care about him. Um, I, I think what you know, Plymouth is doing is, is a really classy thing. I think it shows how, how tight-knit you know, football is you know, between you know, not just two different teams, but how important football is to communities across northern Indiana, how it brings people together. And, and because of that, we're, we're going to honor a really special family that's gone through a lot. All right, good luck Friday night. All right, thank you. Go Cavemen.